We're going to do a quick haul from Coolidge uh, 76 gas station, my wife's store, and the store that one of my, my mom works at also. So stick around, and I'll see you there. So I got a bunch of things from three different stores. Two of them are 76 gas stations and one is a Chevron. Uh, my wife works at the Chevron. And my mom works at the 76 and then uh, my mom's boyfriend works at the 76 in Coolidge. Um, those stores are, were doing a 75% off whatever they threw in the 75% off bin because all the Three stores are getting a complete makeover because the a new Speedway company bought them from Western Refinery. Um, so Speedway now owns Western Refinery and everything else. So these are all are like a dollar ninety nine. Some of them were cheaper than that, dollar fifty nine, um, dollar twenty nine. But it was seventy five percent off those prices, like two sixty nine. And um, I'm going to have to make a separate video because I forgot the other stuff that I put in the shed already. Um, I ended up getting oil and gas cans and a few other things. But this is what's in front of me. I'll do a separate video and I'll splice them together. So I got these um, round fuses. Um, and everything here was like... 14 something 15 something dollars I think it plus the oil and the, and the gas cans is like 40 bucks total for what I spent um, So I got round fuses of different sizes I got some blade fuses. I got three packs of these ATM blade fuses um, 10 amp 15 amp 20 amp 25 amp and 30 amp um, these are 5 amp, 9 amp, 10 amp, 14 amp, 15 amp, 20 amp. I got a package of uh, hose clamps. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 packages of hose repair tape. Uh, it's basically duct tape. Um, I got 3 rubber patch kits for tires. And then I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 battery terminal um, connectors. And, you know, my Forerunner actually takes these, but, you know, I figured if, you know, they need to be used on a different vehicle or whatever, I have them. Um, and I ended up getting two one-gallon gas cans, two two-gallon gas cans. They were $15, $20 gas cans a piece. I ended up getting four of them total for $14. Um, and then what's already here, since it's already sitting here, um, we also got... A bunch of snacks we got like a hundred dollars worth of like slim jims and you know uh pumpkin seeds here's some of the slim jims um jack links jerky sticks you know uh weather's original soft caramel candies you know starburst snickers donuts <clears throat> i ended up getting probably about $300 worth of junk food and we only spent like 60 something dollars so we got a pretty good deal we basically went and got as much as we could um, since the store was doing a reboot so thank you for watching and um, we'll be right back the lighting is the best I can do because this is in my my uh, barn but this is my chemical shelf so what I picked up on that sale was these are all $3.99 or $7.99. Sorry about that. And then some of them were $6.99. I got three bottles of the Outdoor Multi-Purpose Two-Cycle Pens oil, uh, oil. There's the third one. And then I got... Let me stick this up here for now. I got one, two, three, four, five quarts um of pennzoil sae 30 weight for like tillers um and uh lawnmower stuff like that i picked these up they were all 7.99 i ended up getting them for like 
all six quarts, it was like $3 for all of them because they were all 75% off. And then oh, I ended up getting four. Four of the outdoor for small engines, two cycle premium outboard and multi-purpose oil, engine oil. I got four of those. And then I got one, two, three, four, five Pennzoil 10W40 weight or 10W40 motor oil. These were $6.99. I ended up getting five of them for, I think it was like three or four dollars, something like that. All this oil, every single one of them is, if I just count the quarts, I have five quarts of the 10W40, three, four, five quarts of the 30 weight, and one, two, three, four quarts of the two cycle multi purpose premium outboard. <clears throat> engine oil <clears throat> so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve thirteen fourteen quarts for fifteen dollars and something cents and that was at my wife's store my mom's store and my mom's boyfriend's store so i i couldn't pass it up um and then i ended up getting these gas cans right here these americans i got these two right here this small one right here and this small one right here this one this one so these two this one and this one right next to it i had these two large ones already these are all actually scepter usa cans so they actually use that specialized um nozzles you can get different nozzles for scepter cans so it was pretty neat that i ended up getting scepter cans um because Scepter is uh, one of the premium companies that makes gas cans. These are the ones I was talking about in the first section of the video where I got these two small ones and uh, these two one gallons and these two two gallons for $14. Basically the price of one of these two gallons, which was a, a, like a dollar cheaper than the price of one of these because they're like $15.99 or something a piece. So about two bucks cheaper. I got four cans for the price of one. So, um, I figured I'd do a little haul, you know, you guys aren't going to have giant gas stations around you, or you might, I don't know, but giant gas station is the one that was bought out by, um, Speedway. Giant was actually owned, gas station company was owned by Western Refinery, Western Refinery was bought by Speedway, so technically all... Um, giant gas stations are being turned into speedways and they were doing this 70 for 5% off 90% of what was in the store. So I picked up a bunch of oil. I picked up gas cans in case they're needed, which these are the gas cans that have the, um, if I can get them open with one hand. which have those nozzles that you actually just lean up against the bottle right here and you push on this piece up and push the gas can down on what you're filling and it will fill it. So they're they're not cheap gas cans, so they're, they're actually really nice. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think if I did well or not? You know, I got royal purple cans down here, and I got some Valvoline over here, and uh, bug remover, you know, Rain X. I got Zurich G05 for the Ford, which I need to buy another like 15, 20 gallons of that. And then all the Ford stuff, future project. Here's the Gibson headers. Um, I don't remember what's in this box. Uh, there's parts in this box. Oh, the the steering gears in this box. My fuel rail is wrapped in this blanket. Uh, my liquid-filled plenum is right here. Um, alternator, brackets for the radiator. Radiator, fan shroud supports right there. The Y pipes right here. Um, so, you know, that's just a little look around. I'll give you guys a better view of the barn if you guys would like 
an actual view of where all the tools are and everything else, let me know. I got paint and wood varnish and brake clean and differential fluid. So, but thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, leave me a comment. If you guys want to see something, let me know. I'll do another video if you want to see something specific. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.